Right, well, you just got out of uh, Spiffle Me 2. Well, not right out because we're back at home. Um, just quick wrap up on the uh, main points of it. I thought the film was okay. If you liked the original, you'll probably like this one. And if you didn't, there's nothing new here that's going to draw you in. Which is, which is, it's good, but it's also the, that's its biggest flaw, that it doesn't really bring anything new. Um, didn't see it in 3D, so I can't comment on that, but it, it has a few good moments where it's obviously designed for 3D. They've obviously thought about it much more with, there's a big thing at the end, um, where they use it heavily, which seems a really odd moment to do it. Um, but that covers the basics. Uh, so that's spoilers. No constant, constant spoilers. I called this movie in the trailers, called it in every part, because the basically the big big thing with the in the film is that Gru and Lucy, the female agent who's introduced, get together, and I called that from like the minute I saw the trailer. <laughs> there was not a moment in that trailer where, whenever I saw the trailer, I was like, they're gonna get together. Is that the base thing? Um, I feel very mixed about this movie. Well, I, I feel mixed about this movie. I feel it's very not, mixed. It's not fantastic. I really liked the first one, and I was really looking forward to this one, and sitting here and thinking about it, I feel kind of disappointed in it. Yeah, it has... It's... it's the problem is that it's... It's hard. It's hard to explain why... Well, no, it, it's not. It's, it treads over... Really it treads over the... Well, no, because the same thing I said to you when we coming out is that it treads over the same ground. It's... I... I'd have to rewatch the original again. I've not actually done that long since I saw it, but it retreads the same areas. The same thing of uh, Gru is trying to do something, and then begins to have a change of heart as he's doing things. But this time, instead of the first one, in the first one it was with the girls, and this one it's Lucy. And there's almost, I swear to God, there was almost a scene, exactly the same scene. And it happens to him actually. It happens to her, where they're like. Oh, I will now admit my feelings for this person who I've been obviously attracted to throughout the entirety of this movie. Mm-hmm. And it just has that issue which is when the same film it was, oh, I can now make it back to the dance recital. And I don't know, I felt uh, the bad guy for this one's awful. I wouldn't think about it now, same thing about it. Basically, the, the bad guy is, it's one of those moments where straight away they go, ah, he is the bad guy. But oh no, we found out that this person's the bad guy. And then, oh, he's revealed to be the bad guy. It's like, I worked it out about 10, 10 20 minutes into the film. I'm surprised <laughs> no one. I'm surprised kind of. But this, to skip very quickly to the end, the climax of the film where he actually goes <laughs> in. I just, I just want to talk about this because I really, this okay. is where it really, really okay. annoyed me. Okay. It's the climax of the film. He basically. He's going up against this guy and he drinks this serum that's been stolen, which is constantly, it's the big sort of MacGuffin for the film throughout the entirety of it. And basically it's over in about two minutes. They have a short fight. He sort of tumbles off, uses the device, that he, uses the thing that Lucy gave him earlier in the film, and it's like, oh, no, it's over. So he was, he was useful. There was, there was actually no need for him to be there other than to then force Groove to ask out Lucy towards the, to the end of the film. Mm-hmm. Which, to me, is just, okay. You could have done so much more with him. He has a world-ending plan. Mm-hmm. And they just go, oh, no, we've got all this stuff. There's, we've got this antidote for the serum. It doesn't matter. Like, all right, that was useful. <laughs> don't understand why, why you exist. What's the problem? Maybe it feels as maybe it's just missing something. Maybe... The, the movie is missing. Probably. It <laughs> maybe... misses a lot of things. <laughs> they didn't use it to their full potential. It misses, it misses points. It misses yeah. ideas where it just doesn't follow itself. Basically, to start the movie, similar to how the original... This is actually where my brain began to do this, began to make the comparisons. The start of the movie is something being stolen in a rather extravagant way. In this case, a secret base with a formula in it that... They don't really explain exactly what it does. Essentially, it just turns creatures into monsters. Although we found out how the bunny rabbit from Monty Python got created. <laughs> that was that was my immediate <laughs> joke for that. This, they check they check this bunny and it becomes purple and huge. I was like, oh look, to the uh, god, it's at least the grandfather of it. Yeah. I thought I'm kill a chicken. <laughs> oh, no, other, no. Why is it every animal in this film trying to kill people? <laughs> that's, that's a weird thought. Um, 
But so you have that, and then immediately <laughs> after the heist, it immediately skips to Gru. Uh, it's, it's Agnes. Yeah, it's Agnes. Uh, Agnes's birthday party, and I like the fact that they've they're showing the fact that he's had to integrate more with society now, that he's not on his own because of the girls. Yeah. And they brought him because he's having to converse with other people's parents who he hates and they're trying to set him up with people. I found that really terribly frustrating. It was a tad, it it was a tad insulting. Yeah. I mean, it's, I think it's insulting on both, for both genders <laughs> really. It's, oh, this is a woman who is heavily makeup and, well, not as heavily makeup as later, a little one later on, um, but it's heavily sort of made up and she's trying to sort of palm off her ugly friend and but ugly friends, the only way you can put it, because they've designed the character to look ugly. Um, on to Gru. It's more of a dog s- than an ugly friend. The first woman was definitely kind of weird. Yeah, the first, yeah. The ugly <laughs> friend who fell over and broke a table. And all these kids yeah, came around and started poking her. It's, it's a little insulting, I think. Admittedly, there is a great sort of moment where it shows Gru still has that sort of evil side in him because essentially he just gets this uh, pressure spray and fires it into her face. and. It's it's a good it's a good funny. moment. That was funny. And, and you have stuff like uh, Gru's making sacrifices, like he dresses up uh, like a fairy princess because there was supposed to be one at Agnes's party. And there is a there is a nice moment where Agnes um sort of like runs off with all the rest of them, then comes back and is like, Oh I know it's you, Gru, I'm just pretending for everyone else and <laughs> sure she's smarter than me than the other small children. <laughs> Questionable moment. She's um, cute anyway. Yeah, there's. I don't think there's any sort of meme worthy worthy material like the "It's So Fluffy" when that originally oh, came yeah. out. There it's is so fluffy. there is nothing in this film that is like that. There was there's just actually that maybe that is like the issue. Maybe there is the unicorn, nothing. Though. The unicorn always seems to be bearing in the background. Yes, so yes, she so seems so... to have a constant hold on it somehow. Yeah. But it's so, so cute. <laughs> that camera's a light motif. <laughs> I don't even. I don't know. I just think that was. Um, and so basically, at the end of this party, <laughs> Gru is then brought in to the uh, League of uh, the Anti League of Villains, who seem like the stupidest secret agency I've ever seen. Really, it's like the the their boss actually says, "Oh, if you rob a bank, we don't care. Kill someone, we don't care. Oh, that's that's good to know. <laughs> good to know. You're saving the world, you idiot." And it's and it's like the, if you if you damage the environment or whatever. <laughs> if, you, if you're if a Captain you, Planet villain, yeah, if you destroy our environment. Yeah, if you. Or you plan to actually like steal the moon. Yeah, they, they bring was, up that. that you, you didn't like that. They kept bringing up the moon. Thing. I know. I don't know what it is. I think it was just a repetition thing. Well, you, you, and I get. I mean, it's, it's to get the connection. Me, it's yeah, to I know, show. but I just think they just mentioned it far too much. I don't know. Well, and it's just like, yeah. Well, I only counted about three times. He brought up when he's brought in, when he's talking to the guy later on, maybe yeah. once more. Uh, three times is fine. Three times, it's, there's an old rule where you can only use the same joke three times. Well, it's not really a joke, it's just a reference. It is a reference, it's a good joke. Um, I didn't think it was as funny as the first one. I didn't, no, I didn't find I myself laughing quite as much. No. As much but then to me, like once I kind of kind of realised that this was going to be one of those boy meet girl story plots all the way through, I just like thought, you <laughs> I, know I, what? I, I can call it from the freaking know, trailer. I when know. I can call it from the trailer, that bugs me. When I it's it wasn't anything well, it new. Because like, can... like the original felt, you know. Kind well, the original was an interesting is, idea. Yeah. It's a villain being turned to good. The, and the only other film I can think of like that is Megamind. Yeah. And uh, Megamind's. It's okay. It's not. It's. Better, it's better than this. It's better than this. I haven't seen it in ages. It's, it's, yeah. It's, it's the one with the blue guy. Yes. Yeah. The, sure. cat, the, 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 cat, the superhero superheroes played by Brad Pitt. Yeah. <laughs> there you are. Brad, yeah. <laughs> the freaking Brad Pitt, you're everywhere. <laughs> Gotta go see World War Z sometime soon. It's gonna be fun. Ranting. Um, <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> I half don't want to go with you to see that because I'm scared about what's gonna happen. <laughs> Great. Um, anyway, anyway. Yeah, but he gets brought in and he, he sort of, re- I like the fact that he didn't do it straight away, he sort of rejects them, so it's, actually so think about it, it's sort of the, the, uh, it's, I think it's called, the, it's like the cycle of the hero or something, it's the, uh, the hero's journey, and it seems sort of textbook to that, because that's one of the steps of it, it's his rejection of the journey, so he goes, no, no, don't want to do it, I'm doing, I'm doing these things, which is much more fulfilling, it's not fulfilling, he knows this. And then he's, you know, he obviously, he gets brought in, he realises how fun it'll be, and, mm. and then 
and it's just a terrible game of Clue. <laughs> That's what it becomes. Yeah. It's, a terrible, it's a terrible game of Clue. The fact is, when this, as soon as, basically, as the as a sort of looking at the suspects who it might possibly be, and he's, he, the crew's basically saying it's not him, it's not her, he sees this one guy, and they go into this whole huge backstory for him, and saying all about him, and immediately you sort of go, well, he's got to be the bad guy then. He can only possibly be the villain. They've devoted more time to him than yes. anyone else. They don't devote time to any, any other characters. Mm. They're going to all, it's going to be him. And it just sort of ruins it. There's no... But you don't really learn much. Besides from like that little bit, you don't really learn. Again, yeah, there's like, no backstory. There's yeah. no real backstory to him. There's just, he, he, yeah. he is the, and I'm not sure if they just weren't trying or they thought, no, let's just make him as ridiculous as friggin' possible God, because he is a caricature. <laughs> kids won't really care. I, 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 yeah. thought, I thought for a second they were making a Persian racist stereotype because, sort of, you know, bronze skin, hairy chest, giant medallion. I was sort of going, I was sat there just thinking, like, I, I, is he meant to be Persian? And then there's this big thing of like, no, I am Mexican! Like, oh, right, okay, that's good. I thought you would be racist. It kind of reminds me of Natural Libre. I hate that film. I've not seen that film in a while. Oh, uh, Jack Black. <laughs> Jack Black is good, but I just don't like it. That's what many people have said about Jack Black's career. We call him his travels. Ew. Oh, no, my parents made me watch that last weekend. I was like, why are you watching this? <laughs> it's hysterical. Yeah. Um, oh, and, it, and so you have this whole thing of the... They attempt to find out his... To see if he is the bad guy, and there's a whole oh no, he's not, and it's it's actually this guy, and okay. then I can't, even tell, I can't can't even think if that's technically meant to be end of act two because it just there's I think that's the problem. It's the pacing. I think it's weird. I know it's that the pacing because they go they go quite quickly. They yeah. have oh no, and they just they they think they've beaten the villain, and Lucy yeah. is now being. Taken far away, and they will never become a couple. It wasn't. There was no kind of constant speed to no. the pacing. Cause I, I couldn't. Like, this is um. Bad again. <laughs> no, it's funny. Well, this You're is having a mini rant. I have many. I have many mini rants. But there was a, there was a weird thing in it where she she's on this plane and she starts seeing everyone as grew and it's like all right fine I've seen that I've seen that done. Um, and she basically she jumps off and she jumps out and you know flies off. How did she know where he was? Because there is no point. She wasn't there. She wasn't. I don't think she was there. They got invited. I was like, I think I wouldn't. Like, she was on the plane and she opened the plane door, and I was always stood there going, you know what? If that was actually real, everybody would probably be dead by now. Yeah. Well, no, they, they, like, they wouldn't have been. Uh, they wouldn't have been dead because. I know, but it just seemed really. Uh, it seemed. It seemed strange that nothing got sucked out with her yeah, when the cabin like, pressure uh, would have just made everything fly fly out. Awesome. And it seemed weird that no one tried to stop her. She just like runs to this bare play door, opens it, and leaves. And it's like, okay, oh, you you don't know she has a hand glider. She does. Yeah. You don't know like... she does. You let a woman jump to her death. Well done. <laughs> you can... I don't know. Yeah. Well, no, because they like they open like oh, the one on the plane and when she opens the door, they're all going yeah, go for it, go get it. Yeah. And it's just like it just... she's about to die. It was, it was oh no, just... it's terrible. I can't remember if it's the. Yeah. Um, I think it's. I can't remember what film it is. I think it's The Wedding Singer, where they have a scene like that, where there's a person on a plane and all this stuff happening. Um, actually, it's not even the same thing I'm thinking of. You know what it's... else are we I've just remembered that mm. shark. That shark. <laughs> I don't know why. I think it's because it was so stupid. The whole, what, the whole thing of how, how the guy thinks he's dead? Yeah, that basically the guy was like... Riding a shark or tied to a... He was, he was the in the... the it's, yeah, it's tied, it's tied to a shark with a bunch of dynamite around. And yeah, and dives, a rocket. And lives into a... And that's how he thinks his death. And then it's repeated with Lucy when he's trying to get See, to Yeah, it's a, And there's no point to it. There's no reason It becomes confusing why. again here. It's basically the guys... The, when the guys reveal, when the, this El Macho, as he's called... The kid is a ridiculous name. Um... When he's revealed, he basically keeps saying, he says about how, oh no, I, I faked my death. And there's a whole thing earlier of Gru saying about this is how he died. There's no reason why he faked his death. It's he just did he it. did. Mm-hmm. And I, don't, I didn't understand why he did that, because there needs to be a reason. It wasn't like, he didn't say, oh no, they, they were watching me. I've become far too notorious to commit this yeah, plan. I mean, that's like the cake was like a couple of 
line. Yeah, there was yeah, there was just a line of dialogue that just yeah, wasn't added. Didn't do it. Um, and it's I don't know what it is. and then there's there's technically a love interest for Margot who appears for about all of ten minutes. Um, she pops in and out of the film, then, but altogether it probably in, to, in, to, in total like ten or ten minutes, probably about ten. He basically he basically he's a He's a 12-year-old douche, is the best way I can put it. He is a douche. He at one point actually goes, I, I one day hope to have my to um, play video games for a living. It's like, well, yeah, that's all well and good, but when you're 12 and you say that, <laughs> and you and he just looks like a douche. He looks like if he was older, the I mean, sort not, of person you want to slap. He's not there for like his own character development or for Margot he, or any yeah. other people. Well, maybe a bit for Drew, but the whole thing is that, you yeah, know, it's supposed to be Drew's father instinct oh, my daughter can't have a boyfriend thing. Yeah, but it's... It just didn't... I mean, yeah, it came across, but it just seemed a little bit... Yeah, there's nothing to link plot. it. Yeah, it's, yeah, it didn't feel like it's, it necessarily... It is, it, it's the subplot plot. of the film, but yeah. it's it's not fleshed out. Basically, she, really she meets it. him, she sort of falls in love, they go on, like, sort of one date, she gets invited to a party, and then, boom, it is dumped. And there is, there's a nice little sort of thing of Groove freezing him afterwards when he realises this. It yeah. shows he's, you know, shows the sort of connection to her. But I, t- I didn't get why they were doing it because... I didn't know if that was actually was supposed to reflect Gru and Lucy's relationship. If it was supposed to be the children reflecting the adult in that kind I don't, of way. Uh, but I don't think it was because there wasn't not. enough of a, there wasn't enough of like a parallel to it. If there probably was more parallel, it probably would have been. You, I can I can definitely see what you're getting with the idea yeah. because of how it's set up, but I don't think at the time it would have been. It just seemed kind of stupid. It just yeah. It the scene. It's strange they didn't do more with the girls. I just thought they'd have developed the the get, given a bit more character development to the girls, but they didn't, which irritates the crap. It takes the crap at me. Edith. Yeah. <laughs> I remember the modern one. Uh, yeah, because I can I just get sort of a little bit of development because it shows she might not be as childish as she was in the original because yeah. like when she says to go about not knowing that it's him in the costume yeah. and so there's a scene where he's just had to say goodbye to Lucy and he's sat on a doorstep in the rain and yeah and she's she realizes it umbrella and talks to him yeah and she's just like well can I do anything and he's like no and then he, she goes well what about you can you do anything yeah and I was she's, like, she's shows, more in, she's yeah. more intelligent than Let's on, she's just is so yeah. quite eccentric. <laughs> but she's so cute though. Yeah. Um, and this, no, this it's weird yeah. they keep doing this thing where Edith's like in ninja gear, yeah, but never does anything. Yeah. Nothing with it. She's just in this constant sort of, she's dressed up like a ninja for about, for, for about five or six scenes where she's yeah. in, she's, at, she's, she's at the birthday party, the scenes she's where she's so got the weapons good. for no yeah. reason, she's like that at the party they go to. Yeah, she's like that at the but, birthday party. But so nothing like, ever movie. comes of it. She doesn't do yeah. anything. There's a moment where I thought they might do something because they're basically all three girls about to be attacked by evil minions, uh, we'll which, are the, which are the purple <laughs> ones you can you, uh, people <laughs> see on the poster. Evil but nothing happens with it. It's just they sort of get cornered. And yeah. then, oh, no, wait, look, this like, thing happens. I mean, I kind of knew, like, in the first one, she had, you know, Edith had the interesting kind of weapons and stuff like that. Yeah. Because if it's, you recall that... It, it seemed like she could become a villain at some point. <laughs> I could yeah. see her doing it. Um, but, yeah. I kind of, I did like the evil minions, but for some reason this really reminded me of Wallace and Gromit and the Were Rabbit. I don't know why. It's weird. I, I'm not kind of made that I cannot make that connection <laughs> in any way, shape, or form. I don't know. Maybe it's something to do with the bunny at the beginning. I know. It all turned into I'm evil. Trying to, trying to, trying to make connection. That is strange. <laughs> Sorry, that's my brain. Too much sugar. Um, but no, the purple minions were good. They're probably just, well, they were funny. I feel like they were. They were less though as a sort of threat, and they're more just oh, yeah. a mechanic to get to move the there story. No real... Because they they kept going back to what was happening. So basically, as, as the film progresses, mm. the minions keep getting captured like one at a time, and then there's like a whole group of them do. It's like but where it's, are the minions going? Yeah, and it keeps and they show the scene where someone's obviously watching them. And it's obvious he's watching them. But you don't get any brain cells at all. Because basically at the beginning of the film, Doctor Nefario sort of leaves, says he wants he wants to be evil again. He's had a good job opportunity, and there's this sort of shot where so whoever's watching them 
is dressed in sort of a white coat and has these gloves and it's like immediately I was like it's Nefario. I know it's going to be Nefario. They wouldn't have removed him from the film. And I and then basically he appears and saves the girls when they're about to get attacked, and that's about it. The it's amazing how much of a MacGuffin as a as a device that um the serum is the purple serum turns me evil. It turns me evil. It's because it's just there. It's not to do with anything else. It's just truly a device to move the plot forwards. Yeah. Because you keep keep going back to the minions, have them turning evil, and then it's it's part of the reason why he has to go there anyway. It's, I just don't know. There was no need for it. They could have had, they could have had like, um, they could have had the character of Almatra actually trying to get Gru back into being a villain. Yeah. And that actually might have been a more interesting idea because there's, and have them realise that that's, that maybe they thought Lucy was standing in the way and thus um, had to get rid of her. Mm-hmm. Oh, I just, again, just realised I'm, I'm describing an anime there. There's, um, there's a, <laughs> no, there's the, there's an anime called Black Cat where the main antagonist kidnaps the sort of like girlfriend character of the main protagonist because he thinks he's affecting her, him, and that's why he's not the sort of evil sort of assassin anymore. I just only realised I was describing that in detail. I was like, that's weird. Um, a bit of anime in your western, in the western animation film has to be, I think. <laughs> Whatever I said. Um, I just don't know that. I just, I there were some moments that did make me laugh, and there's a there's a bizarre moment at the end where four of the minions are dressed up like a '90s boy band in all yeah, white, we did. which which made every yeah. child in the audience howl with laughter. Yeah, yeah. No other joke. Yeah. Just these minions. There wasn't a joke <laughs> there. It was just well, there, should, and they we, were laughing. We kind of saw this at a bit of a peak time because it's Friday. We, no, we saw it at the best school, sort of so. time, which is that to yeah. see how kids were. We saw it with a bunch of. Kids in the audience didn't you? And it was right, just that MG with so this kids are right, me, yeah. who was being t- explained to by her, what I imagine was her sister, and went up because she'd gone to the toilet and she yeah. was being crazy. And you know the dates, there's a there's a date scene when Gru is sat on a date, and thank sweet God they didn't do what I thought they were going to do. I feared they were going to do it. There's a scene where Gru is on a date, and he's been set up by the woman from yeah, the, it's the a film. Blind date thing. Um, and basically, Lucy sees them. I really thought they were going to do the whole. Oh no, he's he doesn't love me anymore, oh, and yeah. I shall now storm off. And this yeah. is an entire misunderstanding that could be fixed by talking to her. No, she saves him from the date. <laughs> Fantastic, thank you. Do not do that misunderstanding plot line. It doesn't work. It's <laughs> the stupidest. She saves him in the best way though, because she has she, this like she has a mini dart gun and yeah. shoots the woman in the ass. Uh, doesn't she say something like it's like tranquilizer from moves? Yes. Yeah, Moose, and then there's a constant. <laughs> then there's a constant sort of treating her like a moose because they tie her to the roof. Yeah, she yeah, uh, makes a sound of a moose after she's hit with it. And there's, yeah. there's also she calls her an alcoholic at one point, which I thought was like okay, it's an odd joke to make in a kids' film. Yeah, like the waiter comes over. Like, yeah, it's like this this is this, so, she basically basically the, when she shoots with this dart, the woman face plants into like a plate of spaghetti, and the waiter comes over like, is, is she okay? And she goes, goes oh, no, I think she's a little. I was like, okay. No small child in the audience is going to get that reference, you realise. I hope. It's an adult kind of reference you put <laughs> Yeah, unless, unless they're having some severe family problems. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what I think of that. Oh, it's out of I mean, yeah. the, there was a, the kids were laughing through the majority. There was no yeah. really sad. But There's, there was a trailer that made them do that. There was a trailer where no child laughed. We'll, we'll, get, that to we'll, get, to that. we'll get to that trailer. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> But yeah, no, right at the end with the whole, like, they get... Drew yeah, the musical and numbers, get like they did, like they did in the original. Yeah, they get, Drew and Lucy get married at the end and they have this wedding party, and then, like, all you see is this minion dressed up in white, and that was, like, the whole... Yeah, well, that's, that's how they introduce the scene as well, yeah. which is just, it's... And, like, the thing is, like, I recognise, I just about recognised the song, but, I yeah. mean, I couldn't... It, you said, I said it was by... Bonzo, you think you, yeah, but, but you think you be. thought it was that you thought it was what you bat, which is Westlife. Yeah, that's what I thought is. it was. But I've so, moved yeah. on a lot since the nineties, and it's all just like you know <laughs> that a music. Of, is a lot of people moved on since the nineties. <laughs> that music is non-existent in my life anymore. It's twenty, it's twenty but, years later, and no one. But knows. yeah, but it was like it was like I think more for the adults. The kids probably wouldn't know, but the kids, the kids thought it was every yeah. child in that audience thought it was hilarious though. But I mean, they didn't know why. 
Yeah, I Which is a strange saying, moment. It was like laughing gas have like been released because every child. After they did that song, they did YMCA as well, didn't they? they yeah, did which is. But I mean. But I think kids would know that's that. A, more yeah, because that's a ref. That's just a compliment. Yeah. Is that if that's been used everywhere, there isn't. I don't think there's a single show that hasn't at some point done that idea. It's yeah. a bit hard. I feel hard pressed to think of one. Ah, oh, and there's a scene. There is a scene where escalators do take over the world. Oh. <laughs> First, it's no one of the minions gets stuck on an escalator and then has to pretend to be a pond. That's, that's your own thing now. That's your own. <laughs> Ooh, strange. Okay. There's, quiet. The film is uh, <laughs> the film's good. It's just not fantastic. It's just the fact that they tread they tread over old ground and that causes issues because a lot of the jokes feel similar and it doesn't feel like they've tried anything new it feels like they've gone these characters are developed and we don't need to push that any further but it feels like they could have they could have expanded on the three girls i would have actually liked to have found out more because we got i mean you know the first girl sets up their relationship and that's fine that is development they stay pretty much the same even even grew really doesn't have any development mm. in in thinking about in 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 its total it's fine he falls in love okay that doesn't change who he is as a person because he's still the same person he was at the beginning of the film yeah. he's now just a husband and father instead of just it a father doesn't make him more integrated with the society because yeah, he's it's... there with the girls and then he marries mm. and then nothing kind of changes in you know his kind of world in a way. Well, yeah, it, which is it should feel it should problem. it should feel like you know it was going to be quite a big impact, and it would have been interesting if the girls had actually rejected her, or maybe one of the girls had rejected her, and yeah. maybe they could have done you know they could I don't know eh. you know but you know what I, mean? I can I can see where you're going with the idea that it maybe it would have been you know to get them involved in yeah but the problem is there were, actually actually this is probably just part of the actual issue is that all three girls are far too sort of nice yeah. in a way there's... we already know that they want a mother we already yeah, know that they want the family hint. unit because yeah. it was already there in the first one so it was bound you know to happen in the yeah, second one they they drop, they get there, they drop, but... they drop very rapidly yeah. so I think about it there is, there is a sort of great moment um, where Agnes asks Gru to help with this um, present See, this is actually the thing that threw me because I thought they were going to use I thought they were going to have this show up in an entirely different way they didn't um she has to help him with a speech that she's got to give at this uh, sort of pa- uh, play. Sort of thing. They don't really explain it. It's a sort of ceremony. It's like a Mother's, it's a Mother's Day ceremony. Yeah. And um, she basically, every time she says it, instead of saying it like a person, she just drops it to this monotone, just sort of <laughs> staring off into the distance, saying every word like this. It's kind of terrifying. It's more and robotic than zombies. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, I drop into GLaDOS. <laughs> that's where I, that's where I drop into because I mean, um, and it's and that then comes back at the end, which is quite clever. And I I thought that you know they'd strange it's strange that I thought they would do almost exactly the same movie because I thought they were going to have them get to the end of the pageant like it was going to be done. But luckily they didn't. And it's, it's no, so I just pause. I'll answer the phone. Then be right back. Okay, so telemarketers bugging me in the middle of the day. I'm irritating. But, I don't know, I would say go see it if you like the first one. And I would if... think, I would go see it, and I'd probably like go and get it on DVD and watch it again, but I'm still very mixed about it, but maybe it's because I need to see it again. Maybe. I, I would probably, I'd end up holding off probably on DVD at yeah. first, and then I'd, I'd buy it later on. I know, I just wasn't, I don't know, I think I was expecting a lot more. I, I, I felt, yeah, I felt there should have been something bigger, and I thought that was what they were going to do, and they didn't. Just it, and it's it's you know it's there's a difference between critique and opinion, which has always becomes the issue. That I wanted them to do something bigger, they didn't. That's fine. Doesn't mean it's a bad. It doesn't make it a bad movie that they didn't do it. Mm. It's still a solid movie. Yeah, kids enjoyed it. Yeah, and kids. We, a lot of kids were really were yeah. liking it. They seemed to really like it. Yeah, we did. Um, but I just see. I think it's always difficult as an adult to judge kids' movies. Sometimes I don't know. I, I, think, like a child. I think in a way sometimes it can be a bit more difficult 
Mm. Yeah, I can I can certainly say I, I enjoyed it enough that I'd watch it again. Probably yeah. not straight away when it comes out, and I don't even know if I'd, it made I would feel angry, just a bit disappointed that this movie. Well, no, so I wasn't. I'm, but I'm angry to sort of play angry, just me being over the top for the sake of being over the top, really. <laughs> um, right, well, there'll be a break here. I've got the list of trailers on iTouch, and we'll see you in a minute. Okay, so trailers, well, we'll start with the ones that we've had before. Monsters Univer University, which looks, I don't know, I'm... <laughs> Pixar sequels are always questionable. Ever mm -hmm. since, like, stuff like Cars 2, and speaking of Pixar sequels, I'll get to something in a minute. Do you think it's actually Angry. above my sink? I well, yeah, really I mean, everyone's loved it, because I thought it was really good. And this is, like, the third or fourth time I've seen the trailer for the new one. And I want to go and see it, yeah. but I am a bit scared about what they've done with it. My only I issue will be the same thing that, you're all, that always comes up when people do a prequel, which is that you know what's going to happen because you've seen what's going to happen. So yeah. you don't feel like, unless they're doing something interesting, which it looks, to me, it, does, to me yeah. it looks like the, to, if anyone's seen this movie, the second goofy movie, the extremely goofy movie as it's called, uh, to think mm -hmm. about in a second, they did a whole thing where basically Goofy gets fired, has to go to sort of like college, university, and he ends up in the same place where Max is his son. But then they sort of are falling out, and he joins basically evil fraternity. Still <laughs> stupid. <laughs> Sounds the stupidest phrase I've ever said. Clo well, close, close, actually. Um, but, and then basically he joins uh, Max's team, and they win this sort of extreme sports event. And that's how Moses University looks to me, because it has all the same hallmarks that yeah. um, Sully and Mike are in different places, there are different cliques, yeah. and that there's this event that will then bring them together. Because here's the thing, in trailers, don't show the too much of the later scenes, because especially with stuff like that, you'll give that away. I mean, admittedly, if it's quite early on, if they become friends yeah. quite quickly, then fine, because that's how it looks. But otherwise, they would so if they are doing towards the end that Sully joins Mike's side, they've spoiled it yeah. because you can see him in the trailers. But I imagine that's not what they're doing. They imagine that that must be beginning of the third act that they're in this event. To, we'll have to go see it and decide. But yeah, that, that slug joke. Every time I see the slug joke at the end, that slug going, "I'm gonna be late," and then he doesn't like move. I, know, I, I just, the first oh, time I saw that trailer, I didn't find that funny. No, I just that just put me straight off. I it. hate that humor where it's mm. it's been done and it's been done to death, and I refuse to uh, <laughs> just refuse to laugh now about it. Um, funny anymore, people? I I would be interested in one thing with Monster University, which is the one thing I want to see them do with it is I want them to show Mike and. Sylvia, his girlfriend, who's the receptionist in the original. I think, well, is it something like that? It's a, I want to see them two meet. I just want to know how that works out because Mike, as a character at the time, is a very nerdy sort of character. And normally in those sort of films. I see her in the background of any that's, of that's the thing. That's why I keep questioning. That's why it keeps coming up in my head. I'm like, she's not been shown in anything. I so want to know, what she, is that. she. Admittedly, they might do like. Might, they, they might show their first day she's working there already yeah. again maybe that's what the final shot will be but that's what I want to see because Mike is a character in that at the time and is the archetype that he is is yeah. the nerdy character he's not normally the character who gets a girl and I want to see how they're doing that yeah but it's kind of it's it's still really weird to hear John Goodman's God, John Goodman's voice as Sully when the last thing we saw him in was the Big Lebowski <laughs> yeah. where he's pointing a gun at a man for breaking the rules in uh, bowling. <laughs> Which is it's it's weird. It's weird when you see when you see um one person doing that. I mean it'd be like if I went if I watched um 
and then he's got a House of Moving Castle before going to see it because it's Billy Crystal doing the voice of Calcifer in House of Moving Castle yeah. and Mike in uh, Monsters of the University. Um, I love House of Moving Castle. Uh, another one on the list of ones we've seen already Percy Jackson, Sea of Monsters. Or as I am now calling it, uh, Twilight Potter, because it's shot like it's shot like Potter, and it's designed like freaking Twilight. For the love of God, I get, I get why they brought it out now because there's no of those films left to steal box office. I'm some of on the whole, you know, ancient myth and legend things. I really am. I really do enjoy that type of thing, but it just looks really kind of bad, and I don't want to see it. I, I didn't see the first one. I just didn't. I saw the first one. I, I was in, in, as, a, in a camp, as a camp, I was in Potter. The first <laughs> one was kind of okay, but it seems like all these, you know, young people's teenage films that they bring out. Yeah, the young adult, the young adult literature. That all... I know that the second Hunger Games is coming out soon, and that doesn't appeal to me. I, I did If I want to like see a group of teenagers killing each other, I'd watch, watch Battle Royale. Right right <laughs> You know what I mean? I'd do that! I'll read the manga! You know, that's what I'd go and do. Just because it's just, I don't know. I'm not saying that, you know, that the Japanese kind of Asian culture do it better, but I mean, there's just something. For, well, no, for, with, with the Hunger Games, for the amount the of death Games. in that, there is a minimal amount of blood, and that really did annoy me because yeah. they, they, they dumbed it down to sort of they this 12A. But Percy Jackson, I mean, I get it. I get why that film's been made. No more Twilight, no more Potter, you've got nothing, nothing just roll out there. the next Percy Jackson. That's probably going to make some money. That will probably make a lot yeah. of money. I would be amazed if it doesn't make back its, um, it makes back its budget. I would be amazed the by plot that. Of it, the, plot of it, the plot itself doesn't look that bad, but the way it's been filmed, yeah, possibly, yeah. But the plot looks interesting in it. Uh, it's to me. It's just. It's just yeah. the sort of Potter. It's the Potter sort of books, and it's 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 been made because they know now is their time. Yeah. That I don't know how much the first one made. I could look it up right now, but I'm not going to do it. Um. I don't, I know. Obviously, it made enough to warrant the a sequel. I know the book is very popular. Well, yeah. But it's very popular. Not that I've read it, but I know. But it's, I I would imagine the only reason that they have waited this long to make a new one. Is because not yeah, is is because it's, yeah there is no twilight to well, be there. It is there. right if you think about there it. There's no nothing Potter. really out there for young people. No, there's yeah right the now, Hunger Games really. won't be told next. I don't know if it's hunger next year. I think it is. I can't remember yeah. if it's around December or next year. I know. Yeah, it's too but there is yeah, but there isn't. Because there is a market. Similar. There is this gap, and they've just gone right. We will yeah. Plow our money right into it. Yeah. Uh, Funnily enough, that's the way a lot of films seem to be made. We'll yeah. plow our money into it. Just, you know. And, I don't know. Probably won't it, bother seeing it. If it's I, on TV, I might watch it. But uh, I, I, well, actually, I wrote the first one, first one like a month ago, and I started watching it. I was like, I don't even care. I just said, yeah. no, okay. Even, it has Uma Thurman in the first one, and I don't care. That's a scary thought. I like Uma Thurman. If Emma Thompson, if I do Emma Thompson's in Monsters University, I'm going to go watch it. That's where I want to go. I'm pr I'm pretty sure that's Emma Thompson voicing the um that sort of demony looking um headmistress head oh, dean right, okay. the yeah. woman. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's her. Okay. It's because it sounds it sounds like her, and that's the only reason okay. I want to go and watch it because Emma Thompson's yeah. in it. <laughs> Alright, moving on. I like Emma moving on. I planes. Oh my god. Oh no no, it's supposed to first. Oh, it's I, it's planes. Planes. Quick no. Smurfs, quick, no. I'm going to no. play Smurfs 2, Smurfs 2. Oh, no. <laughs> I hate Smurfs as well. I, I will send you to planes. I will send you to planes. I remember the original Smurfs on TV, and I liked Oh, I, I remember the original Smurfs. I remember, I remember, but, yeah. oh my god, please, Kayla. Oh, no, no, go in Smurfs 2 first, because the list of us. Okay, Basically, wait. Smurfs 2, I, we've said it before with other times where we, looked, where we talked about these trailers. It's... It's an unnecessary sequel. It's a sequel to a film that was critically panned when it came out. Yeah, it's made money. The only reason they're making a second is to make more money. And that's about it. There is nothing to make it interesting. I don't care. Someone, for the love of... This is what I said when the, after the trailer ended. Was, for the love of God, someone give Neil Patrick Harris some, some a role. Anything. Because he cannot be wanting to do those movies. It must be... That you know, how I met your mother is about to finish. He knows he's screwed for a little while. He needs this. 
Why is he not on the stage? He, he's fantastic. He's a singer, dancer. He's a great actor. Let him anything anywhere else. This is not another Smurfs movie. This isn't a Smurfs movie. This whole, you know, oh, Smurfs better be, you know, really good. He won't go naughty and destroy all the Smurfs. It's... Yeah, that, that bit of editing is right. I want to, I actually want to know where that scene is in the actual movie because that is trailer baiting it beyond all regional doubt because there is no reason for him to go, oh, Smurfette would never be naughty and then to clip to that moment. Those two scenes are not together in the film. No. They are nowhere, nowhere near. That is, tra- that is trailer baiting no, beyond terrible. all ridiculous doubt. It's all doubt. Um, I'm never going to see the Smurfs. We'll, we'll get to what you want to rant about in these because it's fine, I want to. Because I've got ranted too. But um, another one, which was the uh, which was the only other new trailer we got, which was Justin and the Knights of Valor. Uh. That is there is there is so little there is so much uninspiredness about that movie. I, I couldn't even explain. I didn't recognize the production company. No. I reckon I thought I recognized the name. I when I, I sat there, it. when I was sat there watching it, though, I sat there thinking, "Oh my god, have they ripped off how to train a dragon?" It's no. They it's, have a freaking crocodile dressed up as a dragon. What the hell? That doesn't rip off how to train your dragon. I know. I'll train your dragon actually. It's a good movie. Yes, <laughs> it's it, a it is a very good movie. How to train your dragon. But this looks terrible. And it's, it's one of them that's like I didn't yeah. like the how they've done. Is it like they computerized it or something? Was it all? I can't remember the artwork for it. It was. It was. It was. It was. It was. It was. Yeah. So it's the three D sort of animation, terrible. but it was. Oh, uh, there was. There was an odd. Yeah, there was a bit of an odd. Texture to it, I think is probably the best way to put it. It did look strange. It didn't look quite as clean yeah. or as polished, which I didn't quite understand why they're no. doing it. It's supposed to be about um, this young boy who wants to become a knight. It's it's yeah, it's, it's a just... standard. It's a standard story. It's a standard. He wants to be a knight. The people who are training him don't take him seriously, and I would imagine at some point an actual dragon is going to appear, and that's the point of it. And there was nothing in it to make me think this is going to be interesting. No. It mostly just looks like every other film I've seen. Yeah, it did. Yeah, they've stopped it. I've seen that. That genre's been done. It's been done to death. There needs... I don't mean, I, I, I'll admit, the only way that film would be interesting is if the twist at the end is he is actually a she. <laughs> okay. That would be a really good twist! But they wouldn't do that to the poor children. I don't know. They that wouldn't would... do that to the poor children. They would be itching to be free swatting. Um, What's going on with you today? Yeah, no, that would be, be a grand, that would be a great twist. That would, that would be it. No. Go rammer one half on this situation. That's what you people, that's what I want to see. Um, now, let us, let the bile flow, really, when it comes to it. Planes. Oh, someone now, kill me, please. I'll, I'll, and if you haven't heard of what Planes is, Planes is, I thought Planes was a joke. I thought when I heard about it, it was a joke, and I still maintain that Pixar is actually just playing a trick on everybody in the cruelest of ways, and then that's uh, all I can spend. Planes is essentially cars. But they're planes! Yeah, well, we're planes. That's a, I imagine oh, that's how they pitched it in the meeting when they said about it. Listen, there's, a family, there's a family guy joke, there's a American dad joke actually, and family guy, I think about it, that's to this exact thing, yeah. which is, uh, but it's to do with clothes. It's about the secret life of clothes, and John Ratzenberger, John Ratzenberger plays a tie, that's what they say in the thing. It's like, yeah, that's exactly the same. It's the same joke. Um, it seems weird, because it seems to be that it's set in the same universe. Yes. Because there are characters who appear to look like yeah. they're from the same universe. They have, like, cars and stuff. Yeah, the cars, so... And the back, you know, the which, stuff Yeah, which is, which is fine. Story, it's which... not terrible to expand on the universe you've set up, but... It's just it's nothing. Like... There isn't... And I think it's it's I like it's cars. an underdog story. It's I like compressed. cars. Cars was good. And yeah. granted, though most people say that they didn't like cars too, I also understand that. Why? Just, Why did you I don't cars know. Too? I can't tell you. It is the I know stupidest bad. plot. I know, but I kind of liked it too, uh, and I don't know why. Maybe it just appealed to my niece. There's, there's nothing like, like focusing on a character that one joke was funny in the actual but film, and then just focusing on the entire movie. I just want to like. Kill the people who made planes. I haven't I'm, seen it. I don't want to see it. But it exists, and that's enough for I will, me. I will, <laughs> I will go and see it. I will go and see it because. Oh, you're going by yourself. I will, I will go by myself. <laughs> I'll, I will go myself. I'll 
I, I, you know, I I'll, I'll do one of these. Just do it. It's annoying. No, it's do it. yeah. It's I don't know. It could be awful. It could actually be the greatest film Pixar's ever made. There is no way to know from trailers. That is the actual thing. It looks... I, there is nothing oh, that's... Is, I have to go away just in case it's the greatest film ever made. It's the greatest, but yeah, you will really be kicking yourself with that. Ah, it's that turns out. But it is just that is an issue that there's nothing interesting about it. There's nothing new. It feels like they've recreated Cars had a less interesting moral story possibly behind it from the look of it. Because it is, it's and all about a plane who wants to be a racing He, he plane. wants to, he wants to, yeah, he wants to but be a racing a, dog story. Yeah, he's a done. plane who sprays crop fields. He's, he's, a, he's, those, a, crop, he's a crop dresser, yeah. One of those planes that we don't really have to listen to, really. Not we, really. We do, we do just, we don't see them in mind. We open the, open the lips. Um, wouldn't have mind. Well, no. We get them around here. There's no countryside around here properly. <laughs> and of course you'll get them down here. No, but it, it just no. no. I all <laughs> I can pray all I can pray is that when if when I go see that film, is that the opening scene will just go, Ha! Ah, it's all a joke. Here's every other film we've ever made that's better and just that's what we'll do. Actually, I would love to go. I would love to go there and say, ah, "It's all a joke. We're actually going to show you up again." Wonderful! I would love that. I would. I would love I'm it. Still not seen that one. Yeah. Have you not seen it? Ten. Because opening opening ten minutes is the best. Just because I'm not like seeing it. It's but all those it's things. yeah, it's you know we have like a whole list of other movies to go. Movie, yeah, I've got. We I've, have got I've, I've got a lot. There's Sims Grim. Yeah, but that's not coming out. Yeah, there's movies. There's World's World's End, which is going to come out in oh, two weeks' okay. time, but I'll be catching when it's a few days, been out for a few days, so it's not going to be video on anyway. Um, um, but now that we've gotten not I quite as much vile about planes as I'd expect, considering how stupid the premise it looks. Well, um, it's because we just sat here talking for ages and now I'm really angry. <laughs> I need to eat. Right, well... I'll see you guys next time. Uh, we may or may not go, go and do a review on World War Z. If we do, it's going to be me ranting for probably about 30 minutes about how it's nothing like the book. I'll oh, probably sit here and be. go, oh my god, a zombie movie. <laughs> um, but Why we'll are the vampires? <laughs> all dead. Twilight killed them. Um. <laughs> uh, washed away in, a te- in the tears of fans. <laughs> Every, every Twilight fan and every fan of vampires <laughs> by the end of it. Oh, well. Twilight does suck. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, that's a perfect way to end it out. Twilight sucks. It does suck. I know it always will suck. <laughs> Unless there's riff tracks playing over the top of it. Then only, only then. Bye for now.